Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be going over how to get world edit in Minecraft, upon request from my cousin. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright everybody, to get started, you're going to want to open up your browser and type in Forge. Now you're going to want to go into the Minecraft Forge forums and click 1.20 if it's not already open and grab the 1.20.1 and click the installer. Now you're going to want to wait till this countdown goes to zero and don't click anything on this page and then click skip. You will get the installer down here. Now you can open up a new tab and delete that one and type in world. So once you type in world edit, you want to click the first forge for this one. Go into files and grab 1.20.1. .1. Click download, not install. And now it should be downloaded. Alright, now that we got that downloaded, we can close out of the browser and hop into files and pull up your downloads page. You want to grab both of these and move them to your desktop. Alright, first thing you want to do is double click the Forge installer, which should bring up this page, and you just want to press OK, and it will install Forge for 1.20.1. .1. Alright, now it shows, it should say finish, and give you this little pop-up, you just want to press OK, and that'll go away. And now you're pretty much done with that installer. You can actually delete it if you want. Uh, delete that too. And now, you open up your Minecraft launcher. Open up mine real quick. You should be able to click this drop down list right here and find Forge 1.20.1. If you can't find it here, you can look in installations and make sure modded is not checked and you can find Forge. And actually what we need to do is installations. So we find Forge 1.19 or 1.20.1. Click file. Okay, once you have that file open, you want to click mods. Double click it and find world edit and just drag it in there. Now, you should be able to open Minecraft, and there'll be world edit. Okay, okay so, so now I'm going to open Forge, and this shows up when the game boots. Now, for some reason or another, I have no idea why, but it soon does this. Um, then it has obvious warnings. If you go into mods, you can see the mods that are activated, uh, world edit being one of them. Now we can click single player. I'm going to create a new world just for the sake of this tutorial. Um, go into creative and just create a new world. All right, now that we have the world loaded up, um, we can go around. This is much easier in a flat world, but, um, I not really like doing a tutorial on how to use it exactly as much as how to get it but the gist of using it um, is along the lines of you slap or you grab a uh, <laughs> you press slash and type in brush um, then beyond that you can like scroll and find like all these types of brushes and I don't know how to use a lot of them but yeah I generally use the spear brush and sand and then you press 6 for the size I'm pretty sure 6 is the largest size press oh oh pfft me I forgot you actually have to have a tool in your hand to make this work. 
So let's try that again. And now, whoa, too close for that. Uh, you can click and make like things, uh, custom terrain and such. I just buried the sheep. That's fun. Um, and I buried the sheep. <laughs> it's not exactly animal friendly this mod, uh, but. You can just, I don't know, like this hill, I guess, thing. And you can mess with smaller sizes of brush just to see, get what you want and everything. Um, but let's just say that that's what I want, all right? Um, and I will know that there will be blocks of sand floating everywhere, but that's kind of just a nice fit. So, you want to go to like the kind of bottom corner of like this cube around this thing. You want to go slash position one. Oh, sorry. Slash slash position one. Or P O S one. Then enter. Then you want to go all the way over here to the exact opposite corner. Make sure that everything is in there and go slash slash pose to enter it. Now you can do slash replace sorry it's slash slash replace replace sand grass blocks. Now if we click enter, this should all change into grass blocks. It could take a minute depending on the power of your PC, but if we wait here a minute, all of this grass will turn dirt. See? Um, and just give that a second. Hey everybody, just as a reminder while waiting for this dirt, or this grass to turn into dirt, Please subscribe. <laughs> it would make me very happy. Alright, I'm back to the tutorial. So now that there's most of this dirt turned into grass, obviously you can probably just wait for it all, but since I'm kind of impatient, I'm gonna do slash slash replace. I have some bad spelling. Guys, so bad. Then we can do dirt with stone to give it a mountainy feel. So with that, there is a tiny little short lesson on how to kind of use world paint. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. If you like this video and you'd like to see more content like this, leave a like and see y'all later.